All right, next up on this day one Swiss train with Nola Gold, we have round three of Swiss, which is going to be Yang Zera, the one and only, also on Team IQ, as is Nola Gold, as is the name of the tournament, IQ qualifier number three. Uh, it's going to be Yang Zera versus Decadent Hamster. Props to the name, <laughs> but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Uh, well, it looks like Yang is in the game if you want in to the go. Game? Oh, go yeah, ahead, great. Over. great yeah. Yep. But Keep me on card, card not in a deck. Um, so, like, what, what do I think is a really underplayed card? I think Horns of the Dragon, all right, which actually I think we saw it last night in Fight Night, ironically enough, which is why I mentioned it. Um, double attack is, like, this. what is it? Just Horns and Lucian that have double attack, right? So... Right. I don't know what, like, I feel like it's a strong keyword, but for some reason it's not played. So I don't necessarily even think it needs a buff, but it's just a card that is very underplayed. And then, um, what's the, what's the guy that gives you an ephemeral unit every time he strikes? Oh yeah. Um, Ren, Ren Shadowblade. Ren Shadowblade. They even, they changed Ren Shadowblade and Jay Madarda and they still don't see play. So those oh, cards, man. like, yeah, they, what that tells me though, is I, I feel like they're still trying to keep the cards true to their identity. And because of that, they're still having a problem actually buffing them to be, you know, proper and, and actually get gameplay. <laughs> it's funny because those are all the cards I love to build decks with. Yeah. <laughs> Horns of the Dragon yeah. is yeah. effectively six mana Lee Sin when you have Might. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah, going to put that out there. It's like the fourth <laughs> Lee Sin in the, in the Kick Axe deck. But so yeah, I'd yeah, say that there's a home. <laughs> there's a home for everything. I don't think it's good, but what I'm saying is you could build a deck with it. There's a spot for yeah. there's a use for every card, I feel like. And the one that I was always missing since I asked you the question was the uh the seven six overwhelm. That card oh, just I never saw it anywhere. Right? Yeah. Yeah, like Expedition yeah. All Star, never see constructed play. And then recently I've been seeing it on ladder in that Yeti Pursuit deck, so you know, it's kind of cool that there's a there's a little spot for for everything. But here we here we go. We see Ginny. That one is in just about every Demacia deck. So oh yeah, yeah. No, no trouble finding a home here. Um, Yang Zera, double atrocity in hand. So looks like the end game is going to be able to close quick. But these Ginnies are looking to make work of these uh, weirding stones. Yeah, uh, Wording Stone, going to get that mana. Wow, we're, we're one turn away because this is actually turn seven we're on. And on turn eight, it's looking like Yang will be at 10 mana, will be enlightened, and uh, we'll have a Trundle on board as well. So this is going to be a pretty big deal. Unfortunately, though, 2 Atrocity with all that mana does feel a little bit bad. You mentioned the 2 Atrocity. Can't really do much with them. Uh, hopefully we can buff this trundle up maybe a lot to go for a, for an atrocity, but you don't really want to be sacking your trundle off this early. Yeah, and minus two stones means that next turn, Yang Zara will still have the eight mana. I was wondering why there was no frostbite to maybe defend him, but still yep. having eight mana to deploy this ice pillar. Nine mana. Or nine, yeah. So, so I got I got confused too. Right? It's too much math figuring out when the next turn is. Minus wording stones plus mana. Too much stuff going on. Yeah, uh, well, we, we I, I didn't catch the catalyst from earlier, I think, is what <laughs> would have missed out. I usually try and gauge it off of the opponent's mana because they, didn't, they don't play any ramp. But if there was a catalyst played, there's no identifier. Plus or minus stones, you know? You're, you're already doing way better than, than I ever do because you caught Gangplank and, and how many he was towards his level up earlier. That was already impressive. So, no, that, that I was, even, can't even keep track of that usually. Can't take credit. That was a cast retreat. I saw the, the mouse over, the quick mouse over. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You should have just took it, man. I, 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 I could have took it, yeah. <laughs> so now we see a Vengeance here. Uh, Decadent Hamster does not have to de deny mana here, so this is looking like it's going to be clean. Might go down with a single combat. No clean kill on the Jenny for the scout attack. Oh, no, no, not the scout attack. This is a trundle attack with the block. I'm sorry. Okay, this repost. Wow. This this uh, avalanche. My bad. This avalanche is a uh, big avalanche. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to do a lot of work for Yang, and this is this is what you love to see with a, uh, a late game deck like what Yang's playing here in this Ladros Freljord atrocity type uh, thing going on here. We got or what is what is it T uh, TLC right? 
So I actually haven't seen this deck played as much as War Mothers as of late. So it's interesting. I would have guessed that Yang was bringing War Mothers as well, like you mentioned, but instead opting for this uh, TLC deck. Babbling Bjerg, it looks like. Going to hit the field. We'll see what it pulls, and it is going to be the Ladros. It's, that's big. That's one thing about the deck construction on this deck. The only thing it can pull is uh, Ladros. When you forego the mm -hmm. Trinomir, it's it's always setting up that Ladros. With the three Atrocity, the three Ladros, this deck is designed to do exactly what you saw this turn. Will it be mm -hmm. enough, though? We see the Shin level up. Bright Steel is big. The Bjerg, going to be a good chump block. Thinking about possibly atrocity. No, I'm gonna keep the both atrocities against this deny deck to try and make sure that this uh Ladros does find the kill. And we'll see the combo yeah. go off here. Cheating in the, the Ladros with the full heal too, back up to twenty Nexus health. Yeah, this is definitely a good spot for Yang. The the issue is so we, we do have two atrocities, so we are going to need multiple responses out of uh, Hamster here to actually prevent the Atrocity win condition coming up next turn. But there's so much. There's Concerted Strike, there's Deny, there's Single yeah. Combat. Like, There's a lot of ways that Hamster just prevents these Atrocities from going off. So we'll see uh, what happens. We do have a Flash Freeze to respond to one of the combat tricks, though, which is pretty nice for Yank. Yeah, and then also just even on this board, you see this Ladros can just tax... Decadent Hamster. That's one great thing about Ladros. Whenever it dies, going back to hand, you can just tax him off of this Shen. You can tax him off of this Bright Steel, which is the best unit in Hamster's deck. You're going to see it just trade here with, or, or, or if it, uh, Shield has to be prevented. Oh. oh, here's a strike. Wow, actually opting to do it prior to the Atrocity. I don't, I don't love that. I feel like you never do that knowing that your opponent is playing multiple Atrocity. Three, wow, so Yang actually going with three, the max atrocity here, too, just going all in on, I am going to win this with atrocity. This is the deck, yeah, with the yeah, Bjerg. Wow. Yeah, it's very consistent. Kind of reminds me of uh, one of my favorite zombie acts, the Bjerg always finding your win con is, yeah. is huge. Uh, nice deck construction. Um, I like decks to do that with the Bjerg. You see that also in the Sejuani mm -hmm. Gangplank decks because it only finds Sejuani Gangplank or... Uh, Riptide Rex, which are just all the game winners. So, can only find a game winner. No loose Hearth Guards to just grab for the yep. mid-game. It's like, when this card gets played, a banger is coming. And yep, we saw yep, that yep. there with the Ladros. Uh, and good play, too. You see the strike come out. That There was also the possible counterplay of maybe just freezing the Bright Steel uh, and mm -hmm. not committing the Atrocity as well. But that line was also there in case there was a backup. Say there was a deny for the strike. Well played by Yang. He's been playing, you know, this style of deck that style of deck for some time yeah and, and it's it's interesting you, you mentioned the uh the tutor type deal with babbling beer i like another point to ride since i'm at the game i like how there are tutor cards in this game but they don't tutor very specific cards you have to build your deck around that card in order for them to tutor exactly what you want another example is zap spray fin i know a lot of people are playing that with only noxy and fervor to guarantee the noxy and fervor in burn decks uh, yeah. Just another good example of, of kind of deck building around yeah. your win condition. Yeah, cutting the make it range from that deck I thought was pretty interesting. I saw that in Fight Night yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 cool. Like I love that concept of guarantee of like changing the way you build your deck to guarantee certain draws. Like you're you're inherently just pulling some of the RNG out of a game that is all RNG, right? It's a card game, it's always gonna be RNG. So yeah. I, I love that. Ooh. Yeah. One, one three war chefs hits the field yeah it was pretty obvious against that three two goat <laughs> stealing a free gem there on that last turn well, so, i'm gonna let the attack through though so yeah has bigger plans for this goat here oh okay all right somehow still getting value with that one attack uh, from the war chefs and i do like this from hamster i mean it, it does you can't really allow uh, the mentor to go off on an open attack on the on the uh, next turn because that's just a lot of advantage allowing the plus two plus two getting all those gems not to mention the goats plural that you have on the field now um, that would have been a pretty big swing so single combat coming out there and on the side of yang that is one less single combat you have to worry about i've always I actually I, I want your input on this too do you think single combat is more valuable the later on in the game that you get 
Um, I don't think so. I, I like using sound combats in the early to mid game to just uh, kind of snowball the board. If you could get a good one, for sure. Like, anytime you have a shield with a single combat, I think it's worth trying to do if there's a good target. Mm -hmm. And the mentor was pretty good target, especially with uh, the, after the no block with the goat. You yeah. know, that, that threaten of the open attack there, putting the goat beyond range of trading with the uh, bright steel. I think, uh, you know, that that's just a play that has to be made. And so if there's a shield, I'm looking for a good single combat. Well, it looks like Hamster agreed with you there. And uh, because of it, looks to be in a pretty good spot, too. This dragon, screeching dragon, going to go ahead and start eating up something here. We'll see if it's the goat or the eye. It looks like it is going to be the eye. And although Yang has a lot of cards in hand, uh, most of them are gems. So we are, for the time being, going to at least see this hush come out to kill the war chefs. Man, it's... This War Chef's nerf just coming in, like you really feeling it here, keeping this goat on the side of uh, Yang's field. Yeah, yeah, I felt that as soon as the goat came down against the 1 3, <laughs> I was like, wow, you remember the days <laughs> when War Chefs used to eat goats? Back, back in my day, <laughs> <laughs> oh, War man. Chefs was good. <laughs> I do think I, I do think War Chefs is still like a pretty good card. I mean, you can't. It, it's basically a two mana two four when everything's said and done, right? Like if it gets one support attack off, which I still think yeah, is uh, a good not to line. be understated. Yeah, yeah, you you do have to work it a little bit, but uh, you know, I think before it was a little impressive. I mean, if you think about it, a three four, it's kind of hard to think of playing any other two drop in the spot. So oh yeah, no, there was nothing that strong as a two drop. So one of one of the nerfs that I'm not necessarily like I'm kind of mad just because everybody loved just you know laddering up like ten games in a row just playing Demacia to go face but uh you know I, I don't hate it but we do see a gem come out out of this Zed it's gonna be a pretty big boy here putting it up to six attacks so it will trade nicely with the Screeching Dragon uh, obviously the Zed as well so we'll see if Hamster has maybe a uh, a barrier or looks like the Concerted Strike here to kill this Zed. We could see the Bastion. I feel like this is a pretty good Bastion. Uh, I like the Deny here. Um, we'll see what Yang does, but Decadent Hamster does have Denies of his own, and Deny can't okay. touch a Bastion. So get, winning an encounter fight with a Deny here and not having to worry about you know possible Deny or Deny, deny. later. Yeah. Uh, just go ahead and make use of that. It also makes full use of his mana. Probably not going to need any spell mana on the next turn. That's going to be a turn to bank some spell mana. And you might actually right. need to pump the toughness on. Uh, yeah, on wow, get a early leveled Zed too. So this is, uh, or sorry, wow, not early. We're actually on turn seven. I don't know why we, I thought we were still like super early in the game, but uh, either way, we do still have a leveled up Zed here, which if not dealt with, you know, we see something uh, like this Zenith Blade in hand. I almost forgot the name of the card for a second. So giving it Overwhelm coming up here on the next turn might be able to provide a uh, game-winning turn here for Yang. Yeah, and even if there's some counter to maybe a Deny, as we mentioned earlier, the, the Deny from the Shin player, mm -hmm. for the Blade, just being able to pressure these units on the uh, attack. I mean, 7 attack Zed, quick attack, that's like already going to be enough. Uh, they're both lethal. The Overwhelm would be great for sure. We'll if there's no here. deny, does I'm trying to think of what hamster might have if there's no deny. Is that just game if there's no deny? With no deny, there uh, could oh be no, single spirit, combat. Okay. spirit refuge could be a thing as well. Um, we do still see that bastion in hand to protect against any strike or single combat. Ooh. So this is going to be mana. just a big push here with this Zed. Four mana up is probably going to be a shield. A spirit refuge can uh, doesn't doesn't really. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually be able to protect and heal. So that would be oh, something. Wow. Spirit Refuge on the Dragon would would actually oh. <laughs> survive. No, nope. not. you just died. Zed, <laughs> Zed Overwhelm. <laughs> With the Overwhelm and Shadow, yeah. Nope. You, you want the story to continue, but no. <laughs> That's not a page turner. Zed just closes the book on him. All right, so we're going to get a 2-0, a quick 2-0 from quick Yang 2 -0, Zed yeah. here. Wow. And wow. Uh, Zed Lee Sin just, again, taking it home there. And we're seeing the power of getting an early leveled up Zed. I think we've actually seen more wins with the Zed 
than we have with the Lee Sin, right? Yeah, the Lee Sin looks to be the the pump fake for this uh, deck, for sure. All right, Yang gonna take it home with a W there for Team IQ. So as always, again, everybody, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that bell so you get notified when the rest of the rounds go live. And as always, stay healthy, stay positive. I hope shit just works for you, and peace out.